SGM Lighting G-Spot. Jason. Yeah, who knew it would be this big, this heavy, or this easy to find? Yeah, well, specifically this heavy. It's, uh, it's 52 kilos, and I think that mm. probably makes it uh, one of, if not the heaviest, moving head fixtures that's ever come through the doors okay. of our building. Yeah, so why is that? What's going on inside? Okay, well look, inside we've got an RGBY light source rated to 50,000 hours, 17,000 lumen output. Uh, we've got an 8 to 43 degree zoom with a quasi 1 degree effect. We've got dual 5 position plus open rotating indexable gobo mm -hmm. wheels. We've got a 4 facet rotating prism. Mm. We've got strobe. We've got um, full colour mixing, obviously. Uh, we've got 540 degree pan and 270 degree tilt. Does it sound like no, a fairly this, typical moving this light? This is all fairly typical stuff for a, for a moving head fixture of this nature. Okay, now keep in mind the fact that that moving lights work at all is amazing. True, right? true. Let's not forget we've got electronics, we've got motors, we've got sensors, we've got heat, uh, all going on inside the head of a moving light. And mm. the fact that any moving light works reliably mm. to start with Hmm. I think is pretty incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. The only device I can think of that is more prone to failure, that has more exacerbating conditions going on around it, is a coffee machine because you've <laughs> added water. Yes, yes. Guess what we've added to the G-Spot? Yes, now. Yeah, this it's IP65 rated. <laughs> now, and you went out and turned a hose on it. I went out and turned a hose on it. And oh. uh, in fact, what we're seeing now is the G-Spot sitting outside our office, yeah. being hosed from pretty much every direction. Uh, I made special attention to make sure I got lots and lots of water in where the cooling fans are. Yeah. Now that's the biggest mystery to me. How do they get the heat out while not letting the water in? I have no idea, hey. <laughs> they have done it. I have no idea, but they've working. done it because, yeah, the, the thing is working and it's working well mm. uh, and it's still working even after <clears throat> we, we abused it. Really, you know, to, to well, you know, well within the limits of, of what is Well, IP65 acceptable. is water jets. Water, ge water jets up to a certain size from okay. any angle. And so here's the thing, right? You can hang this upside down, sideways, whatever you want. Mm. Crisscrossways. Yep. It doesn't matter, the IP rating's still maintained. As long as you have the connector plugged in, that's the mm -hmm. only real that's the only real spot where you can break the rating is because the True One connector is IP rated when it is mated. Mm. And that's the power connector. We've got our DMX connectors, these are all captive, and there's nice little touches, like you know, these just slot into the back of the handles. Mm. So it's very tidy, it's a well thought out fixture, and it does exactly what it's supposed to. Yeah, in the wet. So in we're gonna wet. see this in Stadia. Uh, lighting up big outdoor events like, you know, your Vivid, that kind of thing, and on pretty much every festival. Jungle rave. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it.